Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you about being new wineskins. I'm reading from uh, Luke chapter 6, chapter 5 actually, verse 36 down to 39, and it says this. No man puts a piece of new garment upon an old, if otherwise then both the new makes a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agrees not with the old, <clears throat> and no man puts new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish, but new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. <clears throat> no man also having drunk old wine straight away desires new for he says the old is better now we need to be new wineskins so that God can pour the new wine into us in other words we need to be in a state that's ready to handle what God wants to pour out of us first of all we need to be born again of the spirit through faith in Jesus Christ and then God can put new wine into us you can't just pour out the spirit in, in this uh, context here earlier in the chapter the Pharisees and the scribes were having Jesus on about eating with publicans and sinners and he's saying you know before he can before you can pour out new wine into them they need to become new wineskins and I, I have often felt God's mercy in this situation he will never give us more than we can handle he will bring us to a state or a place of maturity or whatever that we're ready and then he will be able to can pour out or put new things into our lives otherwise if he gave us everything all at once it would just destroy us and so there's God's mercy is involved in that it's not because you're not good enough it's because God's gentle and he does it in stages and that's I, that's what I really like about the scripture here you don't give people too much like you don't give babies strong meat as it says in Hebrews you don't give babies strong meat you give them milk first and then and then um, build them up until they're able at a place to handle the stronger stuff so that's my encouragement for you today about being new wineskins we, we need to be well led by the Holy Spirit but getting ourselves into a place in a state and a maturity where God can really pour out all that he has for us so that we don't break but we can contain that not only contain the new wine which represents I believe the Holy Spirit but then we can be used as his wine bottles if you like to pour out to others if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved and that's then you can become a new wineskin for whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the son of God God dwells in him and he and God and that God really desires to pour out his spirit in, in, in a full way so we can be a much fruit to God because it brings glory to him but he's not going to do it <clears throat> if we're in a place that can't, we can't handle it because that would just damage us and damage the kingdom God bless you, have a great day